Hey guys, welcome to the new video. So in this video, we'll be talking all about the TCS ITP slapers and updated pattern. So I'll be covering all the you know slapers change in the updated pattern and all the inf important information for the same. So let's move ahead. So uh, before that, guys, make sure you follow us on all our social media handles that is Instagram, Discord, and WhatsApp groups. So we are having different year whatsapp group different year instagram groups so uh for you uh basically uh it's important to follow the 2023 year pass out group so because we keep on giving such updates like off campus and on uh, on campus hiring updates on the instagram so make sure you follow us over there the link for the for the all the handles in the description of the video so make sure you follow us on all social media handles same for whatsapp guys so we have 2023 year whatsapp group because we keep on giving updates for all the you know hirings like off campus on campus hiring or free live sessions all those updates on the whatsapp group also so make sure you follow that also the link for the same also in the description of the video okay let's come back to the session over here the slavers and the updated pattern okay talking about the thesis itp slavers and updated pattern guys so as you guys know this is the very first time itp is happening and people are having so much doubts about like what will be the pattern and how uh, they gonna ask the questions and all those stuff so i i have segregated this whole session into few highlights so first i'll be covering the updated test pattern then i'll be covering the thesis itp selection rounds and then TCS ITP details labels like quants, logical, verbal, which all topics will be there. What are advanced uh, coordinative aptitude topics, advanced verbal uh, uh, questions and coding questions, all those stuff. And next thing is section wise topic segregation. So in verbal, which all topics uh, which should be there in first round and which all topics will be in, there in round two, all those stuff. Okay, let's move ahead. So very first thing guys, TCS ITP, the, there are two rounds over here, the round one and round two. So the round one is named as T TCS ITP foundation test. Okay, yeah, TCS ITP foundation test. Now what this test is all about. So this test is further divided into four rounds. Okay, you can say four tests. Uh, first one is trait, second one is numerical ability, third one is verbal ability, and the fourth one is reasoning ability. So here, this all topics will be from your general aptitude, like normal numerical ability, quants question from profit and loss, or uh, time, speed, distance, time and weapon, all those stuff. Verbal ability, like, uh, you know, uh, sentence correction, errors, or spara jumbles, all those questions. And reasoning ability, your logical topic, plot relation, and data arrangement, all those topics here. Uh, what is this trait is all about, guys? So basically, this... Uh, this time this trait new thing came over here so basically here they'll ask all about your you know relate to your personality there could be some questions over here so make sure this is the very uh, you know very first round that is the foundation uh, round in tcs itp moving to the round two now what is round two the, they call round two as advanced tcs itp advanced section now, what do you mean by advanced section, guys? So, as they name it as advanced section, there will be advanced aptitude, advanced verbal, and advanced coding questions. So, uh, I'll talk in deep what are those questions of advanced type, what are those questions of reasoning ability and coding ability also. So, I'll talk all about those topics in deep in the further slides. So, this is in general, I can say, a roadmap or I can say, uh, the main highlight of this slide is that is, TCS ITP is divided into two rounds. That is round one, TCS ITP foundation test and round two, TCS ITP advanced section. Okay, let's move ahead now. Okay, now this here, I'll be talking about TCS ITP selection round process. Okay, so uh, as I told you, the first round is the foundation round. So let's see which all sections will be there, how many number of questions they'll be asking, what time limit you will be getting and what is the difficulty level for the same. So as you can see in this table, guys, so there are four sections over here. Uh, I already told you traits, numeric ability, verbal ability, and reasoning ability. So one thing over here as TCS ITP is happening very first time. So there can be, uh, you know, uh, there, there can be the questions can vary from 15 to 16 in this numerical ability round. As you can see, I have written here, uh, on an average, it should be between 15 to 16 questions. They can vary also. Uh, it's not get short at how many number of questions it can be 15 it can be 14 it can be 16 but it will be in this bracket only okay 
नेक्स्ट थिंग यू विल गेट ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट्स ऑफ टाइम फॉर सॉल्विंग दिस न्यूमेरिकल एबिलिटी टेस्ट एंड द डिफिकल्टी लेवल ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल एबिलिटी विल बी हाई न्यूमेरिकल एबिलिटी मीन्स वन टॉपिक्स लाइक प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस एस आई सी आई और यू नो नंबर सिस्टम दीज ऑल टॉपिक्स सो दे द डिफिकल्टी लेवल विल बी on high pri- on high we're very high okay talking about the verbal ability guys so uh, on verbal ability there can be a possibility they can ask questions very close to 20 20 number okay they can vary from 18 to 20 also but this ca- this is the you know minimum to maximum limit where i can say 18 to 20 questions they will be there in the verbal section also you will be getting 25 minutes for the same for solving those verbal questions and the difficulty level will be medium If we're talking about the uh, topics, it can be para jumble because we already have seen in TCS previous year TCS and QT and TCS digital they ask para jumbles a lot. They ask RC reading comprehension a lot in verbal. So same median level questions in verbal ability. Talking about the reasoning ability over here, so there will be fifteen questions uh, and they can also vary, and you will get twenty five minutes for the same, and the you know the difficulty level will be high. Okay, talking about the high difficulty level in reasoning ability. So, the probability from where the topics they can ask is basically data arrangement, seating arrangement, circular arrangement, drug relation, data interpretation. These all topics. Okay, so these topics should be on your tips if you are preparing for the very first round that is TCS ITP Foundation round. Okay, let's move ahead and talk about the round two. so as i already told you that they name it round 2 as tcs itb advanced section now i have written over here mandatory for digital aspirants so as you already know that if in previously if you clear tcs nqt then you switch to tcs digital exam where will package will be more but this time tcs i uh, itp round 2 that is advanced section basically if you are perform performing good over here that means you will be moving to tcs digital kind of a you know package or pat, uh, level so you can take this round as a tcs digital round or maybe this round is mandatory for the people who are aiming for uh, tcs digital uh, you know packages so let's see the number of questions and what is the difficulty level in this round so already i have di- uh, divided this whole into three sections that is advanced quantity ab- ab- uh, ability advanced reasoning ability and advanced coding ability so uh, ad- what do you mean by advanced quantit- quantitative ability so when i talk about advanced quantitative abil- ability so there will be you know topics like mensuration trigonometry or there will be topics like there will be they will ask you questions related to you know triangles or number of triangles counting number of squares okay these kind of questions where there will be advanced level quantitative ability okay so number of questions will be 12 they can also vary so here in advanced section they have reduced the time limit because there can be 12 questions but why they have reduced the time limit because they want this section the students who can clear the section they should be on advanced level so that's why they want they uh, they puts very less time for the solving these questions and the difficulty level for the same is medium guys so if i talk about quantitative ability here the level is medium so maybe if you are solving a problem there will be a short trick for the same and you will be able to solve that problem in less time so that's why they have given less time because they know the person who know the shortcut they can solve the problem in less time that's why 12 questions advanced level with less time if you know the shortcut you will be able to solve that questions so make sure for this the formula for all the mensuration trigonometry and all these topics or you can say counting the number of triangles squares should be on your tips if you are looking, if you are if you are targeting to to tcs itp advanced section moving to tcs uh, itp advanced reasoning ability or you can say logical ability so number of questions will be 8 and the time limit will be 15 minutes and the difficulty level will be high so talking about topics in reasoning ability so there will be topics like data interpretation okay or you can say topics like uh, decision making table okay or selection decision table these are the topics which comes in advanced level where there there will be a possibility of doing a mistake will be more that's why they put these topics in advanced level or image interpretation or topics like you know uh these kind of topics will be uh, they uh, they ask a lot in tcs digital also so the possibility of asking these same topics in tcs itp advanced section will be there okay next one is advanced coding ability so already we know there will be on a on on a very variable thing we can say the number of questions will be 1 2 3 
this will be the bracket of uh, i can say maybe one or two or three so you should be prepared in your head already that we'll get coding questions of at most three or at least one time limit will be 55 minutes so as you can see they have given 55 minutes for this advanced coding section that means that problem will be there from a real time basis they will give you a real time scenario and then you they will you have to write a code for for that you know problem so they they will give you some real time problem and suppose there is some person working in some company and you know blah blah things and you have to make a automatic you know algorithm uh, to uh, if he put some inputs and you'll get the outputs these kind of real time problems they will give you in this coding section and you have to uh, code it in some particular language of your preferred language so there will be options of different languages that i did I'll discuss in the further slides. So, and the difficulty level will be medium. So, this advanced coding section is very important because uh, people will be like, Ki, uh, if, we, if we are not able to do the whole code, but at least if you are attempting this particular part, go with your coach, maybe you're getting a few errors, but at least, uh, you know, code something, or I can say uh, at most you can code uh, if your output is not coming more precisely, but at least if it's coming near to that, just go with that code and you know because the the automatic coding tracking system will take your inputs and it will judge it will you know uh, you, anyhow you have to clear the cut off this round okay so on that basis it will be you know uh, you will be just like uh, like if the, the person have solved a problem but how accurate so the accuracy level will be there okay uh, moving forward now in this slide i'll be discussing the all the topics which which are there in the cognitive aptitude round one okay so these are normal topics like number system lcm scf numbers and decibel fraction divisibility area shapes and perimeter geometry ratio and proportion standard deviation averages equation the ages probability percentage allegation mixture simplifications work time speed time distance profit and loss and clocks and calendars so let me highlight you highlight those topics which will be asked which can be asked in round two. So topics like standard deviation. Okay. Okay. Topics like geometry. Sorry. Yeah. Topics like area shapes and diameter. Uh, topics like equations, simplifications and calculations. And these are the topics or allegation mixture also. These are the topics which will be there in the advanced section. Other topics topics will be there in the you know round one section. Moving to the logical reasoning topics. Okay, in the logical reason topics, we'll have letter series, coding, decoding, blood relations, syllogism, and odd men out. Directional sense, uh, logical Venn diagram, logical analogy, visual and spatial reasoning, selection decision table, ranking in order, and logic connectives. So, again, let me highlight those topics which will be there in the advanced section. So, you will you will be able to see selection decision table in the advanced section, or you will be able to see syllogism, or I can say cause and effect questions in that visual and spatial analogy questions in logical reason or basically counting number of triangles and squares i told you already this this can be asked in reasoning ability advanced level moving forward okay verbal reasoning uh, topics so uh, uh, in verbal reasoning there are questions which will be there in the first round that is the foundation round uh, the topics the topics will be subject, verb agreement, articles, prepositions, error intimation, cost test, reading comprehension, para jumbles, conjunction, direct, indirect, paragraph, ordering, phrasal verb, sentence formation, modifiers, and sentence improvement. Now, let me highlight those topics which will be there in the which the possibility of in asking in advanced level will be the para jumble or phrasal verb. Uh, yeah, this phrasal verb. So, there will be a whole passage and there will be some blanks in between. And you have to fill that passage in the phrasal verb. Uh, let me take an example of phrasal verb. Suppose there is a word called break and there is a word up. So the meaning of break is breaking something. Up means up. But when I club those two words, it will be phrasal verb, break up. Okay. So these kind of phrasal verb, just go on Google and type phrasal verbs. You will be able to see all those phrasal verbs and their meaning. So those phrasal verb you have to fit in, in those, you know, uh, RC passages. And this will be there in the advanced section, the possibility of asking this topic. Uh, also, direct and direct, they can ask direct and direct phrasal verb on RC also or close test. Okay, so make sure this should be th these all topics which I'm covering or highlighting over there. This will be advanced level or further topics will be there in the, you know, foundation test. Okay, moving forward, the last section will be the advanced coding ability. 
Okay, so talking about about the advanced coding ability. So this as I already written this section has problem which for which you have to provide a solution in any of the coding language for your choice and given below some languages like C, C++, Java, Python, Perl and others. So basically people generally prefer to use C or some people prefer to use C++ or some prefer to use Python to code that. No matter what language you are choosing to write the code, it's it's very important that the code should be give, give you the correct output. As I already told you, the problem in this section will be a real time problem. So they will give you some scenario of real time and they will expect, they will give you that if you are putting these out, out inputs, you should get these outputs in the uh, after the code. Okay, they will give you all those data in the problem. And when you uh, when you are going through this problem, particular problem, it, you should think this problem in a real time. Uh, they will give you some random name, maybe some library books are there. You have to segregate into books on like uh, maybe row wise or maybe there is some company burger company is making burgers so you have to you know the number of burgers selling per day these kind of real time problems and you have to write a code and the output should be there come in such way so always think this such problem in a real time then you will be able, it will be easy for you to write the code uh, if i talk about the code the num, uh, very more often kind of uh, operations you will use is addition subtraction divisation or you know mod operations beside this or uh, all oper operation logical or these all operation you will apply in coding section okay so this is this will be a very simple problem but if you see in a real life it will be very easy for you uh, make again i'm telling you if you're not getting the precise answer at the output but still go for your code and just submit that code because the, the automatic tracking system will you know see your code and it will give you marks accordingly so make sure don't uh, uh, keep that you know this space empty you are getting anything in your head just write that code and go for that okay so that's all for the you know TCS ITP syllabus okay uh, before ending this again uh, very important information guys key that Instagram handle why I'm uh, highlighting the Instagram handle again and again because there's some kind of off campus and on campus drives which we which we for that we don't come live okay but we keep on updating those all on instagram handles uh, so for you it's important to follow 2023 the link for the same is in the description of the video so you can uh, have the links from there and on discord we keep on you know giving free live sessions so that is one add up for also and whatsapp whatsapp again 2023 2022 24 pass out batch we have a separate whatsapp groups so our, uh, our you know our, our marketing team keep on giving those updates as soon as they get it from the you know from the company's hr that this is the hiring this is the off-campus update they will directly you know market it in the uh, whatsapp group so that you will you will get the updates in the very first place okay so make sure you follow and you join the whatsapp groups the link for the same is the description of the video uh, further also in the coming uh, sessions will be coming live for tcs other updates so make sure you subscribe the uh, this uh, the subscribe so that you will get the uh, updates for coming lives or whenever we are coming live so press the bell icon so that you will get all the updates whenever we are coming live and when we are coming with other further updates of tcs because there are a lot of changes with tcs keep on doing so we try to give all the updates as soon as possible so please press the bell icon and you can subscribe the channel so that you will get the notification okay so already have discussed this in the beginning of the session so these are the you know the prices which are there as of now for three months six months 12 months eight months and 24 months so if you are not a yet prime subscriber you can go to the prep insta prime you can see the whole website and you can practice tcs itp we have a special dashboard of tcs itp over there uh, you can practice the tcs specific problem from there the topics i already discussed you so we have made theory lectures then quizzes questions and you know uh, video solution for the same so you can go over there and practice from there also so that's it from my end for this time guys uh one more thing guys again i'm telling you so the thesis itp divided into two rounds foundation test and advanced section so these two rounds are very important and okay that's it from my end guys all the other, other information you if you want to know you want to connect with our team link for the same in the description of the video you can dm us anytime so that's all thank you so much for